With Thanksgiving around the corner, it's time to start talking turkey. And this is how you talk turkey. From turkey calls to turkey decoys. Some folks will try anything to trick a turkey. Say hello to the wild Texas turkey. Turkeys were roosting in Texas long before European settlers arrived. Today there are about 300,000 wild turkeys in Texas, divided into three main subspecies. A few hundred Miriam's turkeys live in isolated pockets of West Texas and the Panhandle. Over in the eastern part of the state, about 10,000 eastern wild turkeys make their home in the forests of East Texas. The third type of Texas turkey, and by far the most abundant, is the Rio Grande turkey, whose territory runs roughly down the middle of the state from the Panhandle to the Rio Grande Valley. Springtime, when romance is in the air, is when turkeys really strut their stuff. Gobbling, strutting and fluffing his feathers, the adult male turkey, also called a tom, will try to attract every female, or hen, within earshot. Dragging his wingtips on the ground warns the younger males, or jakes, to keep their distance. Usually just a gobble will ward off other toms and jakes, but being territorial, the occasional fight does take place. One hundred years ago, turkeys almost disappeared from Texas due to unregulated hunting and loss of habitat. Let him go. Now, thanks to bag limits and a restocking program, Texas turkeys have made a steady comeback. In fact, Texas leads the nation in total number of turkeys. Texas Parks and Wildlife partners with private landowners and groups like the National Wild Turkey Federation to restore turkeys to their native habitats. All right. <laughs> you can find wild turkeys at state parks across Texas. And a lot of people just enjoy seeing their antics. They, they are they're really funny sometimes, the things that they do. One thing's for sure, Texas just wouldn't be the same without its wild turkeys.